Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to introduce you to the SharePoint app bar and also explain to you how to configure it. So what is SharePoint app bar? Essentially, it's the sidebar you see on the left-hand side of any SharePoint site. Um, it um, consists of four different areas, uh, the home icon, the my sites icon, my news and also my files. Uh, but first of all, before I explain um, the sidebar uh, to you and also explain to you how to configure it, I want to explain uh, the reason why we have this sidebar. Um, so essentially, uh, the sidebar shows you the various news and you know files and sites that you follow or visit on a regular basis. Uh, for the most part, for the most part, this is the same information you could get by clicking on the Office 365 App Launcher and clicking on SharePoint. So let me click on SharePoint link over here. Uh, you see it's pretty much the same information uh, for the most part, uh, maybe with the exception of files. You know, the news uh, and announcements, you know, rolled up from different sites, the sites you follow, the sites you visit on a regular basis. However, the big downside of this is that in order to access the site, right, you have to click on SharePoint and essentially you kind of almost, um, you, you know, leave the page, the site you were on. You, you now, we are now in a different tab in the browser uh, and it's not such a, I guess, a clean or uniform experience. Um, so um, for that uh, reason, we have now this SharePoint app bar. And essentially the big idea uh, here is that it's the same information. However, um, you know, it's present on any site. You see, as I navigate from site to site in my environment, the sidebar is always there. I can always access my site. I can always uh, access my news and I don't even need, you know, to leave, uh, to leave the site I'm on at the moment. All right, so that's essentially the uh, big idea behind the sidebar, very, very convenient. Um, again, uh, let me briefly explain to you uh, the different icons that we see here. The uh, globe icon um, pretty much shows you the sites you visit on a regular basis, you know, the sites you follow, and you can see uh, a complete list if you want. It actually brings you over uh, to uh, the, um, um, you know, to the uh, SharePoint uh, start page. Um, so the news obviously, you know, shows you all the news uh, that uh, are, are been rolled up from all the sites um, uh, you have access to. Uh, the My Files button uh, shows you all the files you accessed recently, and this could be files from any SharePoint site or your own OneDrive. So again, if you work on certain files on a regular basis, you're going to see them in the list. The Home icon. Let me explain to you the Home icon. Uh, so by default. Uh, when, if your organization did not configure this uh, home icon, it actually, when you click on it, it actually brings you over to this SharePoint start page. So if that's your experience, that's because your organization did not configure the, uh, you know, the, this home icon. Uh, there is a way to change it. Uh, if you notice, um, when I click on my home icon, I actually uh, don't, it doesn't bring me to the SharePoint start page. Instead, it shows me this um, this other navigation that I have, um, uh, you know, within uh, my environment, essentially some important links. Um, this is the only area of the SharePoint app bar that you can configure. You cannot, you know, configure uh, any of the icons, all right? Um, essentially what you see is what you get. The only icon you can configure is this, uh, this home icon, the behavior of this home icon. Again, by default, it brings you to the SharePoint start page. But what you can do, you can also uh, pretty much create a menu, maybe some important links um, um, to some sites that are important, maybe employee handbooks, some policies, whatever you want to highlight, whatever is super important in your organization, whatever you want to be available from every single site, uh, you can configure it. So let me show you how to configure this uh, menu. You have to be uh, a SharePoint admin to do that. Uh, now, the first step would be for you to take a site and register it as a home site. Uh, a home site, and I've written a blog post on that. Uh, you can find it on my blog. Essentially, it's um, kind of the number one internet site uh, where you will publish you know, news announcements, you know, links, all that stuff. Um, think of it as a true kind of homepage for your organization. Um, in order to register a site as a home site, you have to use PowerShell. It's not something you can 
uh, you know, just uh, check a box in, in SharePoint. So you have to use um, just a line of PowerShell, you know, pretty straightforward. Um, I actually uh, documented that in one of my blog posts as well. And what I'm going to do in the description of this video, I will include the link uh, to that blog post so you can find the step-by-step -step instructions there. So again, first step for you would be to um, register a site uh, as the home site, which is what I, you know something I already did to this particular URL. All right, and then you navigate to that site. So once you register a site as a home site, all you need to do is just, um, you know, what we need, we now need to configure the navigation for our, you know, home icon. And here is how you do it. Uh, again, on your home site, click gear icon and click on global navigation. This global navigation option is only available on a home site. All right. So if you, for example, let's say I am on one of my hub sites, this is just a regular hub site, not a home site, you can only have one home site in your tenant, you see global navigation is missing, right? Again, global navigation is only something that's going to be present on uh, the home site. So let me click on global navigation over here. So by default, it will be off, all right? Uh, so by default, remember your home icon will send you to the SharePoint start page, but let's go ahead and configure it. You need to enable uh, this toggle, all right, enable global navigation. Let me explain to you a few options that we have here, a few things we can configure. So the first thing, which is optional, you can upload a custom image, a custom logo, and essentially it will replace this home icon over here. So by default, you will see this nice home icon. If you want your company's logo, some other image, you can upload it here. Um, the next thing, uh, so the image is optional, this logo is optional, but this title is not. You have to provide uh, some text over here. Let me show you what this title is all about. Uh, essentially, if you click on the home icon, it's this text over here. You see essentially the text that will show up above uh, your navigation, right? Uh, and again, you have to provide it. This is not optional, this is mandatory. Uh, and the last thing, very important, we have to choose the navigation source, all right? Essentially, we have to uh, choose the source uh, that will, um, you know, display this links on the when you when users click on the home icon. All right, what would be the source of those links? There are actually uh, a total of three different choices available, and let me show you and explain all three. So first of all, you can use the home site navigation over here. So if you click on this um, radio button over here, whatever navigation you set up on the home site, all right, uh, on the home site, the local navigation, very important. Uh, in this case, it's this navigation over here. That's the navigation that will show up uh, over here, all right, when people click on home icon. Um, the second option you can choose is the hub navigation, all right? So in my case, I actually registered this uh, site as the home site, uh, and I also registered this site as a hub site. So it's not just a home site, it's also a hub site. And as you can see, I created my hub navigation over here, all right? Uh, so if I choose this option and my site is a hub site, essentially this menu, this menu over here, uh, whatever links show up in the hub navigation, these are the ones that will show up uh, on the um, you know left-hand side on the sidebar when users click on the home icon. And as you can see, this is the exact same links uh, that is exactly the type of navigation I set up um, uh, over here on, at, at the hub level. Now, the other option um, would be to uh, use to manually build a, a global navigation. So if you don't want to use this navigation and if you uh, did not register your site as a hub site, let's pretend I didn't have that, right? Let's pretend I didn't have this. I never registered my site as a hub site. And you know what? I don't want to use this site, um, uh, this navigation uh, for my uh, kind of global navigation over here. In this case, we have a third option, something called global navigation. And global navigation essentially allows you to manually build your global navigation, uh, all right? and without using this, your site navigation or hub navigation. So uh, let's click here. So in this case, you would still choose this hub or global navigation option. And then this is where you would click uh, to manage your global navigation. Again, with hub navigation, we manage it here, right? Uh, with this uh, option, so if you click edit global navigation, look at this, edit global navigation, pop-up displays, and this is where you can 
um, you know, you can manually uh, create your navigation, build uh, your, your your navigation that will ultimately be also visible when people, uh, you know, when your users click on the home icon. All right. Again, this third option, very important. The global navigation is for situations when you don't want to use your site navigation, you know, this one. And it's for situations when your home site uh, is not a hub. All right. It's not a hub uh, and you just want to build an alternate, uh, you know, navigation in, in that case. All right. And that in this case, again, you would just, uh, you know, click this radio button and click this edit global navigation option and configure it and add whatever links you want to add here. All right. Uh, in any case, that's all we need to configure um, uh, in terms of this, uh, the navigation and other settings. So once you're done, just click save. And it usually takes uh, some time for the changes to take effect. So you're not going to see your uh, links appearing right away. It might take um, some time. Uh, but uh, after that, uh, essentially, um, you know, the navigation menu will appear uh, on this home icon and uh, it's no longer going to bring you to the SharePoint start page, which is a default setting. Instead, it's going to show you the navigation uh, that you set up using this global navigation option I just showed you. All right, uh, so that's really uh, all I wanted to show you as far as the SharePoint uh, app bar is concerned. Uh, again, the only area you can really configure is this home icon navigation. Everything else is kind of fixed. Uh, and in my opinion, it's a great addition to um, you know, SharePoint. It allows you to pretty much uh, navigate the sites, uh, navigate, you know, read on news and even access the files from any SharePoint site you're on. So in my opinion, uh, very user-friendly and convenient uh, feature uh, for you and users. All right, so that's all I wanted to show you uh, in this video. Again, um, hopefully you learned something new today. As always, happy to see you on my blog, SharePointMaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.